Hey, welcome or oh, welcome back to Four of Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, but I am off to one side. I am reclining. I have um, my phone in my hand. This can mean one thing. It is time for the latest episode of Hell Yeah Or Whoa 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 No Right, I'm off to one side again so I can put pictures up here when I edit which takes me FOREVER It's the best I get started uh, I'm going to start off showing you some swatches of one of the new Revolution palettes that I spoke about in my last Hell Yeah Woe No and I can confirm I've bought it um, if the tutorial that I filmed with this isn't live yet it soon will be suffice to say £4 palette blinding quality as always so yeah that was definitely a hell yeah worth buying. Continuing with Revolution, Adam Minto put this picture up of these different boxes for skincare. Um, authentic, high potency, affordable. The Skincare Revolution is coming autumn 2018. Just four of the huge skincare coming soon to our partners. Um, and you can see there, there's a super fruit extract antioxidant serum and primer that I like the sound of. Uh, CBD skin nourishing oil to help soothe and calm dry skin. Um, and although the skin on my face is uh, combo oily, uh, the skin everywhere else on me is super dry. So I'm hoping that will uh, do wonders for my shockingly dry elbows and knees and ankles EGF skin conditioning serum okay and gold elixir rose hip seed oil um, haven't used rose hip oil myself but um, for people that have used it I've been told it is super super good especially if you've got um, old acne scars etc apparently it works really well for fading those so yeah good on your revolution we need some uh, some decently priced skin care um, oh by the way if you're wondering about this look yes I have filmed it um, again I don't know if the tutorial is up for this yet but if it isn't it will be soon um, continuing with revolution they have got a new sugar lip scrub in um, rather than Jeffries, which are in little pots this is like a, a lipstick shaped one so uh, if you're not the sort of person that wants to um, you know pop your finger into a pot of uh, lip scrub you can now use it like that which is probably a bit cleaner and easier for on the go um, coconut oil infused formula buffs away dry skin to leave lips perfectly nourished that's going to be four pounds, five euros, or six dollars. So that's a pretty good price. They've also, to follow on from that, um, a Revolution lip conditioner. Wear alone as a balm to prevent lips from cracking. Underneath lipstick for comfort, or add over the top of any lip shade for a high gloss finish. Three pound, four euros, five dollars. Think I'm gonna see me picking one of those up. That's gonna be a hell yeah. And they are still churning out new stuff. Um, to go with their Revolution Fast Base Foundation, review for that is on the channel somewhere. If I remember, I'll link it. Um, they've now got Fast Base Concealer, which looks to be similar to these Maybelline Age Rewinds with a little uh, spongy tip on them. Now at the moment I've got a cart ton of different um, concealers on the go. I've got four different shades of Colourpop, um, two different shades of their concealer and define, a Catrice, 
a Too Faced, a Fit Me, and that uh, Maybelline Audrey one. So it's I'm, I'm okay for concealers at the moment. However, um, I will be picking one of those up in due course to try. 14 shades, um, pretty decent colour range. Um, again, it's a little beige heavy, but then concealer you tend to have one or two shades lighter than your skin tone anyway for brightening um, and knowing revolution they'll extend that shade range shortly anyway um, that's five pounds six euros eight dollars um, under eye brightener apparently that arrives on the 18th so very soon indeed in fact it's probably out by the time I put this up, by the time I've got it edited. Um, amazing formulation and fluffy flow through application to brighten and lighten underneath your eyes. And there are some swatches. So, actually it looks like they've got a, a more decent shade range than I thought from looking at the little circular dollops that I had up earlier. Um, they've also, Adam Minto sneak peeked this, um, it was a video and I've, I've tried to capture it at different points there for you so you can see that it's like the glitter actually moves inside whatever that is. Um, it doesn't say what that is, it just says passion for the products we make. Um, what the creative team are working on next so that could be um, packaging for liquid highlighters maybe or a palette or um, maybe it's a magnetic palette to put uh, single shadows into or makeup bag if you've got any other suggestions as to what you think that might be comments box is open feel free to uh, you know Put your guess. Um, I spoke last time about the September Rain slush palette and I said it was a hell yeah. Proof that it's a hell yeah. And uh, the lady that runs this, the owner of the company, has actually given me a discount code. It's non-affiliated, I don't earn from it, so uh, but it gives you 10% off, and the code for that is BOMBER, B-O-M-B-E-R, all in caps. Um, that'll be in the description box below if you've missed that. So, um, I've used a lot of the shades from there, and I am blown away by the quality. Um, it's comparable to Jeffree Star quality. Uh, if not, maybe a little bit better than Jeffree Star. You can pick yourself up off the floor now, those people that know me, because I bet they never thought they'd hear me say that. Um, I spoke, I think last time, about the OPV Rainbow Splash Palette. Sorry, hay fever. Uh, we've now got pictures of the inside of it. 11 matte shades, 8 shimmery, 1 metallic and a mirror available July 31st. Um, I've done a picture here comparing the Slush palette, the Violet Voss Flamingo palette and the Rainbow Splash by OPV. Now they are all very, very similar. I mean, OPV and Flamingo, if you put them side by side, I would have trouble telling them apart. Of the three, September Rose is the cheapest. I can vouch for the quality because I've used it. Um, and you get 25 colours in September Rose and you only get 20 in Violet Voss and OPV. Um, personally, I think 
the September Rose one has a better colour story. I think the colour story is easier to read where it's in its colour families rather than being scattered all over the place. Um, my recommendation of those three would be the September Rose one. And I'm not saying that because I've got a discount code for it because I don't earn from using that discount code. You just benefit from 10% off. Um, but yeah, of those three, even if I didn't have the discount code, I would, well, I've already bought September Rose Slush, so that, that tells you everything, doesn't it, really? Um, it would appear that Rainbow is the way to go right now. Sorry, had a bit of a 80s moment there. Continuing with the Rainbow theme, with yellow packaging. Um, I showed last week the pigments um, from the Coloured Rain palette. I now have swatches that I can show you as well. Um, again, you only get 16 colours. To buy the whole lot is $45 plus I think it was $10 for the thing, so you'd be looking at 54 bucks or about 48 quid. I don't need to say anything, do I really? Uh, oh, and out of interest with those coloured rain ones, one of the shades, it says all shades are vegan and cruelty free except for one, unbothered. Which I would imagine is going to be the deep red. Which has probably got carmine in it, which used to be called cochineal, and it's basically ground up beetles. So if you want to be sticking that on your eyeballs, you crack on, sunshine. And there's no shimmers in that either, that's all matte. Mm. Continuing on. Coloured Rain, um, got some lip glosses out, there's this one, they're adding a ninth shade called Mistress, which is a cranberry with pink reflective shimmer launching soon, I've got to admit I like the look of that, um, and here's close ups of the other eight shades shown on a light and a medium deep skin tone without any lipstick underneath so that shows you the depth of colour and the opacity for each of those lip glosses. Um, I still love that orange one, I still love that purple one um, which is what firecracker and um, blueprint so yeah, they're going to be $15 each. Hopefully that will be coming either to Beauty Bay or Cult Beauty. Because um, I wouldn't mind picking one of those up to try. Um, NYX have um, got a professional makeup suede matte lipsticks. Um, eight bucks in America at the moment. Um, so when it comes over here probably going to be around about the same price knowing NYX. Um, you know, not a bad colour range I suppose. Um, the formula is inspired by the velvety pencils featuring an adorable heart adorned case. Super soft and lightweight lipstick covers your pout in powdery matte colour. Powdery matte colour, I don't know what the sound of that, that sounds really drying. Uh, pair the plush shades with their matching lip liners for a look your heart. Um, 24 shades in total. Um, in America, in Ulta, they're buy one, get one half price. And free gift with purchase if you spend 15 bucks. There's some swatches of the deeper colours. Um, I like Cyberpop and I like 
ice out of those. And there's swatches of the more normal or wearable colours. Um, do I feel peach don't kill my vibe is probably the only one out of those that I would actually get. And this close up um, shows you the sort of almost spongy looking texture that the lipsticks have. Now that looks very similar to Pat McGrath lipsticks so it'd be interesting to see how they perform. Um, there's a total shot of all 24 colours. So um, yeah, that's coming. I spoke ooh, quite a while ago now about MAC um, previewing the lipstick that had, um, it wasn't a lipstick, it was a lipstick case that looks like Ruby Woo, but with brushes inside it, which initially I was really interested in. Um, one of their look in a box range, that's is their basic brush. Um, the thing is, these these are travel size brushes, so they're they're only about this big. You get four of them, and it's nearly forty quid. <sighs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the look of that. Uh, it's got a round highlighter brush, a medium tapered blending brush, an eye shader brush, and a fluffy angled liner or brow brush. I like the look of that, but I'm not paying 40 quid for four tiddly tiny little brushes in a lip li lipstick. That was it. That was a, a slip of the tongue, wasn't it? A lipstick shape. Box. No. Sorry, Mac, that's a whoa, 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 whoa. No, from me. Um, Mac are bringing their Hyper Real Foundation back. Um, at the moment, as far as I know, they're only in America. And they're 31 bucks each. Whether that will come back over here, I genuinely don't know. And um, they're going to be bringing out liquid eyeshadows. Good old Mac, always on the uh, tail end of any um, makeup trends. Because you've got the Steeler have done them, Colourpop have done them, Essence have done them, Mac are finally doing them. Um, nothing majorly revolutionary there. Ten different shades, two finishes. Shimmer, which is um, a shimmery pigmented base, plus glitter and satin, which is a fine shimmery metallic pigmented base. Apparently they're permanent to the collection. There's some swatches there, look. That purple looks quite nice, I will admit. It's coming in August. They've got a rose gold shimmer called Beam Time, a sparkling copper shimmer called Blinking Brilliant, hollow blue and pink violet pearl called Diamond Crumbles, that's a shimmer. Uh, Every Day is Sunshine Soft Nude Peach Shimmer. Stars in My Eyes Metallic Silver Satin, Flash and Dash Light Gold Champagne Shimmer, Not Afraid to Sparkle, Sheer Pearl and Multi Pearl Silver Gold Shimmer, Pantheratized Black, Violet, Green and Purple Pearl Shimmer, that's the one that I like, Love Yourself Soft Metallic Pink Satin and Rayon Rays Warm Bronze Shimmer, um, they're going to be 22 and a half euros plus minus, so it's that's the anticipated price for them. 
so probably going to be 20 21 quid when it comes over here so uh, possibly um, the Castilla have now got a nice deep purple as well so I'm kind of mm, contemplating contemplating on that one that's a maybe baby continuing on with Mac this is a sneak peek of their forthcoming holiday range, couple of highlighters, a palette that's going to have a highlighter, bronze and a blush, now the blush obviously is missing. Um, I do like the, um, the sort of raised bow detailing on the, uh, the actual product themselves, that looks quite pretty looks like it's going to be exactly the same highlighters as last Christmas um, I think one or possibly both are actually permanent anyway but if you haven't got them and you wanted them with pretty packaging that's what Mac are doing this year <clears throat> the balm have got a new product called the Balm Jour creamy lip stain $14 each mix of stain and shine they've got a soft and creamy texture formula with non-drying staying power that moisturizes and delivers long wearing high pigment which speaks to you in many different languages and apparently all of the different box all the different packages say hello in different languages that's kind of cute um, there's some swatches there of the eight colours. Very, I've got to be honest, basic bitch. Um, Salut is quite nice. Um, and so is Konnichiwa. But, I don't know. Maybe, baby. On that one again. Um, I spoke last time about Hourglass launching something and I guessed that it could be a highlighter stick or a blusher. And I was wrong, I did annotate it on last time's Hell Yeah Won't I because the um, the pictures or the reveal, excuse me, the reveal happened as I was editing it. And they're coming out with a mascara. 4D amplified brush combines two brushes in one to deliver intense volume, length, definition and lift. Buildable weightless ultra black formula won't smudge or flake so it sounds like it's waterproof. Um, extreme lash more volume in one stroke. Um, that's coming very soon within the next week or so I believe. Um, I don't have any prices for it yet, but it's hourglass, so it's not going to be cheap. I quite like the triangular packaging, though. That's clearly what they're going for at the moment. Um, I'd imagine it's going to be around about the $30 price. It's probably going to be up there with like your Urban Decays and your, your Too Faced in terms of pricing. So, I must admit, I like the shape of that brush. That is the brush shape that I like. The kind of natural bristle, kind of tapered Christmas tree style. Um, I find that does give my lashes the best look. But am I going to pay 30 quid for a mascara? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Um, I've also got more details on the scattered light glitter eyeshadows in the five different shades that they're doing um, you can see I've got swatches there Aura Foil Smoke Reflect and Blaze um, I believe they're going to be 29 bucks again nothing about those grabs me and makes me want to spend 30 quid on them Um, I've now got some swatches here from the Kylie Summer Collection. Again, I quite like that that pinky, bluey, lilac-y um, lipstick. I'm guessing that's Chill Peel. 
um, that's that's quite nice but I'm not going to pay Kylie prices for it at all um, I could understand when she first launched not having a returns policy but girl you've been around long enough you you were in Forbes magazine at having you know self-made yeah self-made when you were you know you're only self-made if you start your company with uh, 50 quid in your pocket come from a family like the Kardashians where a million pound loan to start your company up that's not self-made love that's just using your family's influence to build a brand um, I don't like the fact that she now doesn't have a returns policy I don't like the fact that um, she charges so much for shipping I don't like the fact that she's not anywhere that you can get to and swatch stuff and see whether you like it before it arrives um, I have admittedly I bought one of her lip kits in the early days but I found them far too drying um, they felt like exactly the same as the Colourpop ones so since then I haven't bothered to buy any and I will admit a couple of summers ago I bought one of her glitzy lip glosses uh, which is nice enough but you know it's just a lip gloss it's nothing special uh, got some swatches here for the bullet lipsticks that she's doing again you know nothing particularly grabs me on those Boss, Vacay, Tangerine, Miami and Nova Tangerine's quite a nice colour but <sighs> I've got orange lipsticks do I need to buy one from Kylie at an overpriced? no, no I don't so yeah that's the two lip kits one in a pink uh, red box one in a yellow Candy K is I believe one of our original shades um, and then on Wednesdays which is pink so that's obviously a throw a, a nod to uh, burn book you know mean girls on Wednesdays we wear pink I wear pink any bleeding day of the week, love. Um, continuing with the Kardashian Jenner family, uh, Kim Kardashian West put this up late night makeup testing. Looks like it's going to be eyeliners because it's brown, black, gold, white, nude. So I'm guessing that's going to be eyeliners of some form. She's also launching three new fragrances. Um, Kimoji Cherry with notes of Juicy Red Cherry, Luscious Raspberry, Sweet Strawberry, Cherry Blossom, Gardenia Petals, Vanilla, Woods and Musk. Kimoji Peach with notes of Juicy Peach, Fresh, fresh Nectarine, Jasmine Pearls, Peach Blossom, Creamy Vanilla, Sandalwood and Musk. That one doesn't sound too bad. And Kimoji Vibes includes notes of Watermelon, Bergamot, Juicy Pineapple, Apple Blossom, Peony Petals, Fresh Jasmine, Cedarwood, Sunkissed Amber and Musk. I must admit it's got pineapple in it which really makes you want to try it but... Whoa, whoa, whoa... No. Because I don't buy perfume if I can't test it first. To make sure it's going to smell okay on me and to make sure it doesn't give me a migraine. So, yeah, I'll pass on that, thanks. These are swatches of the three new cover shot eye palettes from Smashbox in minimalist major metals and prism. Got to admit, I am ever so slightly called towards the purpley lilac one in the middle but see any shades in there that aren't really in here apart from that charcoal -y colour which I've got in numerous different palettes so yeah Apparently the early cover shot palettes were good, but the latest ones, I've been hearing rumblings. 
that um, they're not all as good as the early ones. Um, yeah, there's a close up of that lilac one, the prism cover shot palette, which gives you one swipe holographic colour two duochrome transformers that make any shadow sparkle. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa! No. Just no. There's a picture of all of the uh, Smashbox palettes. They've got that kind of... Um, Remember the cards you used to get that you could twist and it looked like the picture was moving? That's what the uh, the packaging for that's like. To be honest, I think I like the packaging more than I like the palettes. There's a shot of all the color sh cover shot palettes now. Um, I like the fact that we're going to smaller palettes now. Uh, I'm glad we're moving away from these huge 35, 25 pan palettes. Um, you know, A, they're cheaper, B, they're easier to store and travel with, and C, you know, if you're just getting into colours or you're just getting into makeup, they're less intimidating because you have fewer choices. Um, I notice they've now got one which looks to be all pressed glitters as well, um, which apparently is marked as coming soon. I've got a close up of it there. So, but again, I've got pressed glitter shadows, so I don't need that. Swatches for the Nabla Denude collection. Five face sticks with a creamy formula that glide on and give your skin a splendidly youthful and dewy effect. What hell? <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Just felt like it needed to be said that way. Um five lipsticks, four mega glam liquid eyeshadows, five lip liners, a face brush, four highlighters, apparently pressed highlighters are on their way as well. So if you are wanting swatches of the Denude collection, there you go. Swatches there of the Novena palette from ABH. I like it, but again, I'd already bought this before that launched, and this has got pretty much all those colours in it. It's a cool toned neutral palette with a pop of purple, and that's four quid, and that's 42 quid. Yeah. Although Angelica um, Newquist was talking about this palette and she said she would change those final two shades of eccentric and passion and she would actually um, she'd make eccentric a beautiful deep matte purple so you could do an all purple look with that palette and um, she would change the last shade in it, Passion, to a deep red, similar to um, Love Letter in Modern Renaissance. And I have to admit, I actually prefer her reworking of it. I think that makes the palette look even more interesting to me than it was before. So... I wish a company would get Angelica to, to do a palette because I love some of the ideas she comes up with in the colour combinations. Continuing with Anastasia, these are swatches of the five um, lip pigments or lip glosses. Um, they aren't created to deposit pigment and colour, they deposit dimensional light catching pearls on a light neutral base. So if you don't want specific lip colour but you want gloss and you want sparkle, these would be great. They'd also be really nice over deeper colours for an evening. 
uh, for an meal out. So that's those looking very pretty, looking very pretty indeed. Um, they launch internationally second week of August. So if you're looking for those in the UK, that's when you're going to get them. Um, Deep Benoit Cosmetics have got some new highlights out. Pretty enough, but not for me. Neither of those colours call me. Um, to be honest, they, they look like they're both going to be a little bit too dark for my skin. So I love that, that companies are coming out with deeper highlights for deeper skin tones. So that's, uh, that's long overdue. Colourpop um, have launched what they call their all-star range, or the start of their all-star range, which is a primer, which is a uh, pore minimising smoothing base, and a long-wearing oil controlling setting spray. Uh, the primer is oil free, silicon free and helps to absorb oils and the spray is alcohol free, lightweight and uh, invisible with oil control. So if you're like me, oily combo skin or you have um, greasy skin, that could be a godsend using those two together. Ten bucks each, so once again the usual good Colourpop pricing. There's a close-up of the packaging for the primer. Say hello to the primer that preps your skin for a smoother, easier, even makeup application. Never greasy and oil-free. And there's the close-up of the setting spray. Um, to bring you makeup that lasts all day, ultra-fine mist and oil-fighting alcohol-free formula. To help keep you from cracking, melting or fading. Bitch, if that can stop me from melting in this weather. Even Urban Decay is struggling to keep makeup on my face in this weather. But those are out now. Awesome. Becca are bringing out some new Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealers. Um... I haven't got a date yet for release of those, but uh, I don't know if that's all of the colours because it could do with going a lot lighter and a lot darker at either end. But for the colours that are there, it's not a bad effort, I suppose. You know, B plus could do better. Um, and Becca have collabed with Glam Glow and you can get this in Nordstrom in America which of course means we can't get it here, fabulous um, a hot pink kind of con collaboration it's got a mini hot pink Glam Glow gravity mud mask and a mini um, Becca highlighter in a hot pink compact 32 bucks Becca, Glam Glow, we need this in the UK. That is so pretty. Um, I've actually got one of the little mini. I actually remembered this time that I was talking because I was talking about Becca to actually get the little mini highlighter out of Becca's that I have in its little flying saucer. This is um, opal just to give you an indication of the size of it here it is next to a NYX full size highlighter so you can see you do get a decent amount of product in there because I've only ever gone through one highlighter in my entire life and that was the first Jeffree Star highlighter I bought which was ice cold which I wore everywhere every day <laughs> basically but Becca Glam Glow this better come to the UK because I really like the look of that really like the look of that. Want it, want it, want it. Hmm. Uh, 
that sugar pill? Why have I got sugar pill here? Oh yeah, that's why I've got sugar pill here. Time release sparkling lip colours. Uh, in three shades, those are out now. Love the look of Pillow Fight. That's got my name all over it. Um, three sparkling liquid lip shades in our beloved Time Release formula. Like our best-selling shade, Trinket, the pillowy soft formula applies matte. Oh, with sparkles that twinkle brighter as the formula sets. Uh, activate the sparkles quicker by pressing your lips together. Okie dokie then. I think if we can get that in the UK, I'm going to want me one of those pillow t pillow fight ones because that I love that kind of greyish mauve. Love it, love it, love it. Um, BH Cosmetics. That's the inside of their highlighter palette that I spoke about before with the split pans and I've got to admit those split pans really remind me of the Fenty ones that are out at the moment so there we go uh, Buxom Cosmetics to all our fellow unicorns new full-on holographic lip top coats are especially for you available at Feel Unique uh, I doubt very much they're holographic I'd imagine that they are duochrome or multi-chrome. Um, I am yet to see a full-on holographic lip gloss but those are now available. Um, the Ordinary have um, got a new iteration of their best-selling buffet now laced with line smoothing and anti-fatigue copper peptides to upgrade the serum's formidable list of complexion perfection Perfecting credentials and it's blue. I thought copper went green, but I did blow up the science lab at school, so don't take my word for that. Uh, but yeah, that's on Cult Beauty at the moment. If you're looking for that, that's uh, 28.90, which is you know, it's up there a bit, but you know, it's still cheaper than. Things like Drunk Elephant and all that lot. Um, Rimmel have got a new Wow Wings Mascara featuring a double sided brush to help you load up the volume with a winged side and flare out for a cat eye effect with the curved side. Seven quid. So, um, I don't think they've got a waterproof version of that yet and at the moment with my hay fever the way it is um, I can only wear waterproof mascara or anything else I end up looking like Alice Cooper from the School's Out video Shop Miss A have got some new items out um, that's where I got my little egg cup um, beauty blender holder or beauty sponge holder um, they've got Glow Baby Illuminating Drops, set of five for $5.55. Oh Honey Lip Oil in Strawberry, Honey, Peach and Apple, which is a buck each. And Fat Lash and Skinny Volumizing Primers, again a buck each. So, uh, with Shop Miss O, they do ship to the UK. Um, and so long as you order, I think it's... On the current exchange rate, I think you can order about 18 bucks worth of goods um, without getting clobbered with import tax on arrival. So, uh, my advice there is for your basket up with bits and bobs. I do like their super soft um, sponges, the ones that they're 155 rather than a quid because 55 cents goes to an animal charity. Um, and I really love those sponges. I've got two of them at the moment and I will be getting some more at some point. So, yeah, that's available. Morphe are bringing back, due to popular demand, the 39A palette, which 
I think is a good idea. It's got the centre row of um, your kind of transitiony shades, which, which are obviously going to get used more, so they're in larger pans. Some of those would also be able to, to um, dupe as contour bronzes, maybe, depending on your skin tone. With warm shades above it and cool shades below, that's $32. Um, I've actually got all of those shades now, so I. But if I didn't, that would be a really good starter palette for anybody just getting into makeup or who wants to try different colours without um, spending a fortune. But again, it is one of those bigger palettes, it is going to be more difficult to store and travel with. Just a reminder talking of Morphe. Beauty Bay are dropping Morphe from their website. Now, it's probably because Morphe now has a UK store, uh, a UK website, and I know most people order through Morphe because if you order it on the Morphe website, you can use um, influencer codes so you can get your 10% off. So I'd imagine that is the main reason that they're dropping Morphe because they're, they're seeing sales go down. However, ding a ling a ling, sham a lam dang ding dong, ding! And yes, if you recognise that, welcome to the Wolf Pack. Um, finally, in the UK, we are going to be able to get Wet n Wild because Wet n Wild's coming to Beauty Bay! Ring that bell, I cannot wait! Um, I've used some of Wet n Wild stuff that people have brought back from when they've been over in America. Um, I've used their um, foundation, I've used, I've actually used their silver highlight today. Um, I have used the Renegade mascara, love that. I hope they bring the purple one across to the UK as well. Um, and I have, what else have I used? Oh, Nudie Patuti liquid lip. And a friend of mine managed to get hold of the mermaid box for me. I really hope that that means we're now going to be able to get hold of the box sets that they bring out as well. Uh, but that's going to be absolutely fantastic. No details yet on when they're actually coming to Beauty Bay, but my bank balance is going to hate me because I'm, I'm going to be buying quite a bit of stuff from there. Um, something I've been trying to get hold of, but it's permanently sold out. Probably because Dupe Boss put this up. Elf have got a hydrating coconut mist, which is great for this weather. I use a super drug one, Vitamin E Mist, which is like Fix Plus. It doesn't extend the wear of your makeup at all, but it does um, kind of. If you've got if you've gone a bit ham with the powder, it blends powders in together. It it freshens your look up. Um, cools you down in the summer it's, it's it's really good and they've actually said that it is a dupe for the Marc Jacobs perfecting coconut mist price difference Marc Jacobs 39 bucks elf six bucks so I am going to be stalking the elf website um, and hoping that comes back in stock soon so I can grab one and try it um, Alyssa Ashley has teamed up with NYX. I discussed this last week that she was teaming up with um, a makeup brand to help extend their range. The swatches here of the lightest, the darkest, and I'm guessing either her skin tone or the mid middle skin tone range. So you can see there is a nice, a nice spread there, and it looks like it's actually going to be. A new foundation from NYX, a full coverage foundation called Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Um, 40 sh no, 45 shades. Um, available August the 16th on their website and at Ulta Beauty, so that's obviously America. So I'm hoping. Um, that we get that super soon here. Um, there's swatches of them. So you can see there is a 
good, good. That's what colour ranges should look like. Um, could do with a couple of more lighter ones, but I'm liking the look of that. Um, 24 hour wear, 15 bucks as well, so it's a good price. Very, very good price. Um, and to go with that, they're also doing um, a new matte primer in a tube. And I'm actually using the Honey Do Me Up primer today, even though I haven't got foundation on. Um, I've actually used this today, which is really nice. It's a dupe for the YSL Blurring Primer. Really lovely. Really lovely, not sticky at all. So that's coming. In my can't sleep due to pain and fibro and heat and stuff, discovered another indie brand that I'm interested by. It's 3INA, pronounced Mina. Uh, cruelty and paraben free, made in Europe. Um, and they've got these four different eyeliners. Um, apparently they're all waterproof, which is fabulous. And the first... The, you've got one with like a little dot at the end. That would be great for doing the dotted eyeliner or um, more architectural finishes. You've got a thicker, blunter one for, you know, your, your 90s gothy emo type looks and then you've got two finer pointed ones. The top one looks very similar to the Kat Von D tattoo liner because you know I ain't buying no more Kat Von D stuff. Hmm. Um, they've also got this post up um, water resistant volumizing effect flexible wand colour mascara now, I love me a bit of colour mascara. You will have seen, I hope, my tutorial where I actually use a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick to do liner, mascara and lipstick. Um, but yeah, I love, I love colour mascara. I think it can, it can really elevate a very simple look. Um, you can get Mina from ASOS, Feel Unique, Jarbong and look fantastic. So we've got plenty of options there, which is absolutely fabulous. So I, I'm going to be, uh, when I'm finished here, I'm, I'm probably going to have a look on ASOS and uh, see what colour of mascaras they've got. Laurelly Los Angeles, um, her Like a Boss palette um, is now actually, it's been renamed Boss Babe and Party Animal because it's two separate mini six pan palettes which I think is a really sensible thing to do. Um, there's some swatches. So you got your basic bitch Laura Lee palette on the left, which is neutrals, warm, everything that she always wears. And then some quite nice bright neons for the party animal palette. Now of the two, the one that appeals to me is party animal, but between the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette and the September Rose Slush palette, Babe, I got all those colours. I don't need that. I really don't need it. At all. Uh, but if you want them, then they are $19 each or 30 bucks for the pair. Um, I believe they're out already on her website. Um, I genuinely don't know if you can get that anywhere else. Now, talking wet and wild, coming to morph, coming to Beauty Bay. Really hope we get this. Look at this. This is the Zodiac collection that they're coming out with. Four highlighting bars, four eyeshadow palettes, twelve glosses, and a Mega Glow loose highlighting powder. Um, there's the powder. 
I've only got one loose highlighter, but I do quite like it. So, hmm, tempting. Very, very tempting. There's the four highlighter bars in Earth, Air, Fire and Water. Those are so pretty. And there's the, um, the eyeshadow palettes. And again, that's really sensible. Um, I'd imagine it's going to be this kind of size from the look of it. Um, and it's, it's, it's split into six colours. Now, they're all the kind of size that you can fit an eyeshadow brush into, which is great. And again, for travelling, how sensible is that? That's going to take up so little room because although I love my bigger palettes, travel wise, if you're comparing packing this to packing something this size, it doesn't take a rocket scientist, does it really? Um, you know, if you're going to go and stay overnight at a friend's house, that's going to fit in your handbag much easier than a huge great palette will. Um, there's the glosses and there's swatches of the glosses. Taurus is mine, which is that pinky one at the top. It's okay. Um, but I, I hmm, kind of like the Scorpio one, which is the purple. I mean, there's nothing that says I have to get my particular star sign. It's there. Um, prices for this, the highlighter bars, this is all in dollars by the way, so um, it's going to be round about that price when it comes over here, I'd have thought possibly a little bit more because obviously um, although the exchange rate would bring the price down, you've got to work into account the shipping and the taxes and stuff that it will hit. So I'd imagine if you, if you take whatever price I say in dollars and add maybe one or 150 to it, that's probably the price it's going to be here, I would have thought. So the highlighting bars in air, fire, earth and water are 6 93 each. The eyeshadow palettes in air, fire, earth and water are 4 68 each. The 12 glosses are 2 93 each and the loose highlighter is 6 93 each. Do I have a price for the entire collection? That is a very good question. No, I don't. That's a bit silly. But anyway, that's the prices for those. Um, I really hope that, uh, that that comes to Beauty Bay quickly enough that we can take advantage of those. Mm. Um, right, Manny Emiway put this picture up and in the description he listed eyes, Norvina palette, lashes, Instaho lashes, foundation, Fenty, highlight coming soon. So I'd imagine that's going to be his next launch on Luna Beauty is going to be, um, I can't imagine he's only going to bring out one shade of highlight, surely there'd be at least you know, one for light skin, one for medium skin, one for darker skin, we can but hope, but that is coming soon. I will let you know more as I find it out. Um, Zoeva are coming out with a new eyeshadow palette, which I really like the look of, that, that ICI palette, as in I-C-I, -I. not the paint firm from the 80s. You old enough to remember that? Um, there's some swatches. Um, I believe that's launched already now and we can get that from Selfridges. So that's pretty epic. Moving on, Charlotte Tilbury is launching some new bits and bobs. Um, she's coming out with a magic setting powder. It looks like we've got three colours there. 
um, which I should imagine is either a translucent or a pale pink, a banana powder and a deeper powder. Um, and concealers. So, okay. That's that's the concealers there, the 16 different, now that's a really nice colour range and it includes a white as well which is good, I've, I've got a white concealer, I got the Colourpop Fair 00, zero um, because at the time Beauty Bay uh, Makeup Rev didn't have a white one out and I'm loaded if I'm buying Kat Von Diseases. Um, so yeah that's the Charlotte Tilbury again could do with maybe a couple of deeper shades there for the deep dark skin if they want to conceal blemishes rather than to lighten but that's a good start Charlotte that that's a really really good start I'm impressed with that um, and then there's this pillow talk collection which um, we've got a four pan palette there, it looks like two mattes, two shimmers. Um, that circular one I'm guessing is a bronze and highlighter maybe. And then there's this Stars in Their Eyes palette, which it's pretty shimmer heavy, but again I, I'm liking that we're seeing more purples now. Um, Oh, there's a there's, there's a picture of the other four pan palette which she's done in like in greens. Oh, that's interesting. Um, apparently the concealer is full coverage, water resistant, 15 hour wear, available end of August. The Pillow Talk collection includes the quad eyeshadow palettes, powder, and the lipstick. Um, oh, the Holiday 2018 collection is the Big Eye Shadow Palette, Quads, Balms, Sets and more. Hmm. Charlotte Tilbury's on the move by the look of things, that's good. Um, Colourpop, these are their new highlighters swatched in what looks like with flash and without and in daylight. So, chonk, chonk, chonk. That's those three. It Cosmetics bringing out their CC cream in matte, which I'm happy about because I want to try their CC cream, but with oily combo skin, it wouldn't necessarily work very well for me. Not a bad shade range for It Cosmetics, it has to be said. Fair, fair light, light, light medium, medium, neutral medium, medium tan, neutral tan, tan, rich, rich honey and deep. Again, there's an awful lot of beige in that picture, but we are seeing some deeper shades, which is fantastic. And I messaged them saying, is it coming to the UK? And they replied, we're so excited for you to try this brand new product. Stay tuned, it will be coming to you soon in the fall, XOXO. So probably September time, September, October, I'd imagine we're going to see that over here. So that'd be awesome. Um, on my midnight 2am wanderings, I discovered this, Sport FX Cosmetics. When your primer acts as a moisturiser, makes your makeup last all day, plus reduces redness and inflammation, you know you're on to a winner. Psst, it does all that whilst cooling skin too. Uh, they've got a cool down primer and recovery gel for a tenner available through the link in their bio on Insta and in selected Sports Direct stores. That's interesting. Um, primer and recovery gel duo creates the perfect base as well as soothing the skin post workout. Sweat resistant, hydrates, soothes and calms the skin during changes in temperature or environment. Acts as a great moisturiser and absorbs quickly, creates a soft focus finish, fights fine lines and reduces inflammation. 
it's got aloe vera gel in it, vitamin C and F, um, paraben and D53, dermatologically tested, high endurance, free from synthetics, free from raw materials of animal origin. So when I'm due to uh, get a new primer, I might give that a go. That sounds jolly interesting. And they've also got a mist and fix recovery face spray for £8. Instant cooling, makeup fixer, hydrates skin, reduces redness of skin thanks to anti-inflammatories, fixes your makeup in size. It's 50ml size. This is 100ml, so it's, it's going to be probably the size of... Where's my Barry M1? There it goes, my Barry M1. Is this, yeah, that's 50 mils. So, that's not bad. Uh, vegan, friendly, natural ingredients, dermatologically tested, cruelty free. Might give that a go, actually. Uh, Milani. Oh, I need to, to wiggle, I'm in pain, sorry. I'm I'm back, sorry about that, I'm really struggling today with pain, you can probably tell. Um, Milani, um, two new eyeshadow palettes, Pure Passion, Soft and Sultry. This is the Warm Tone one, Pure Passion, whatever. This one I like the look of though, this is Soft and Sultry, this is the Cool Tone one. Yes, 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 I know I've got Cool Tones in here. Um, but I've not tried the Milani shadows yet, and I've heard very, very good things about them. So I'd be interested to pick that up. Um, it's available at the end of July on their website. Um, early August it goes into Walmart. Not sure when we're going to be able to get it over here, but probably within about a month or so, or so of it releasing in America, I would have thought. So depending on the price of that, I'm going to pick one of those up. Menagerie Cosmetics, which um, I said last time that Makeup Monster is going to become Menagerie Cosmetics. They're showing another one of their products. Battleproof Gel Liner. Waterproof, smudge proof, long lasting, ultra pigmented eyeliners. Uh, no launch date yet, but as I hear more, I will of course keep you updated. You know me, I like my coloured eyeliners. Uh, Natasha Denona is bringing out um, three highlighters, fair, medium and bronze. So we can imagine the prices for her highlighters, can't we? There it is swatched on three different skin tones. Um, I don't have a date yet for release on that, but... I think it's on Beautylish already, so if you want it now you can probably get it through Beautylish because they do ship to the UK. And then she did this, what do you think, which palette is giving birth this time? And sneak peeked one of the five pan palettes with um, a filter over it so everything looks pinky purpley. Then she put this, the new mini palette's mother. And she put a picture of the Lila palette up, which obviously is her purple one. So she's bringing out a five pan mini Lila eyeshadow as an extension of the existing palette. Five brand new shades, 25 bucks, but then it is Natasha Denona, so you know. Um, there's a picture of it. The shades are Poison Berry, which is a vibrant fuchsia matte with a blue undertone. Blue Dahlia, or Dahlia. Purple with a blue duochrome sparkling effect. Raisin, medium cool burgundy matte. Linen nude champagne metallic. And flint nude sand matte. Um, 24th of July that launches. So there's some swatches on three different skin tones. I've got to admit. I'm only going to buy Natasha Denona if I win the lottery because I can't justify 25 quid for five shadows but if I was going to pick up a Natasha Denona palette that's probably the one I'd go for um, I like the look of that 
I do like the look of that. I have quandaries now. Mm. I actually want a Natasha Denona palette. I don't like being in this situation. Moving on. Strobe Cosmetics have got an Arcana palette coming out winter 2018 and they've sneak peeked some of the shades. Um, so these are the five shades they've sneak peeked which looks to be a deep British racing green matte, a matching deep emeraldy green metallic, a bronzy metallic, a tan camel coloured matte and what looks like a sort of a bluey mulberry shade in a satin finish. So that's looking interesting. It's not confirmed yet but there are rumours that Kathleen Lights is um, doing another Colourpop release. Um, possibly quad palettes, possibly highlighters. Um, we saw her using the bullet lipstick in the last um, Hell Yeah Woe No, so I'd imagine she's going to do something in their Luxe lipstick line. Uh, potentially a gloss as well. So as I hear more, I will let you know. She's done this black and white thing, they all do. I put it through a colourizer, but everything just came out sort of yellows and oranges. So we'll have to wait and see on that one, unfortunately. Juvia's Place are bringing out a new palette called Afrique and an Afrique Matte Liquid Lipstick. There's a close up of the palette. So, again, very Juvia's, very bright, um, very pretty with a lovely red lippy. Uh, I believe you can buy them both together for 35 bucks. I believe. Um, apparently this collection was inspired by the Motherland Africa. Authentic, colourful and vibrant. She's a merchant She's a girl, she's beautiful, she struggles, but yet loves to look beautiful. Most importantly, she's happy. Consists of a vibrant eyeshadow palette, oh, a Serafina blush, Bella blush, and Afrique matte lipstick. So that's coming. I haven't got any pictures of the blush yet. As soon as I have it, I will, of course, update you. Beauty Blender are bringing out a foundation. It's only a matter of time. Very interesting packaging. You flick the switch at the front like an on off switch, uh, squeeze the, the, the top, and it pushes the foundation out into that dimple. Perfectly shaped for this isn't a beauty blender, this is a uh, beauty bakery egg, but perfect for dipping in. If you can tell, I haven't used it because it's still dry, so it's tiny. Um, and initially, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that, that sounds nice. Bounce, liquid lipstick, uh, liquid foundation, okay. 32 shades, sounding really good. Velveteen matte finish, 24 hour wear. Yeah, this is all sounding really good. Ah, <sighs> then trend mood. Pull up this picture, which is a screenshot she had taken from their video. I'll give you a minute. How much beige? How much beige? And that bottom row, I'm going to give you a close up of one of those shades. Who the frig is orange? Apart from Donald Trump. Who, who is that colour? You've made a foundation for Oompa Loompas and Donald Trump. This annoys the hell out of me. Don't be boasting that you've got 32 shades when 
24 of them are beige. <sighs> Alyssa Ashley, I caught her comment on Insta. Bye. And in this day and age, just... And when they sent these out, they sent them out with beauty blenders to match every damn shade. Alright, so 24 beige ones, 2 orange and 3, three brown then, yeah? There's a shot that I pulled off of Jeffrey's one this morning. Um, admittedly that it looks like their promo um, video had a filter on it because it doesn't look as orange. But still, look at those wheels. One wheel is completely Caucasian. Uh huh. So if one wheel is completely Caucasian, why isn't the second wheel completely colour friendly? Because you've only got to look at the beauty blenders. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got eight. Well, technically, you've got five. You've got one deep, four medium deep, and then three what my granddad would have called cafe au lait or latte coloured and then the other eight a beige caucasian okay you might say why are you getting so het up you're a white bird yeah i am but i'm at the opposite end of the spectrum and i know how frustrating it is to go into somewhere to look for a foundation and for their lightest foundation Yes, I'm talking to you, bourgeois, at the moment. Have you seen the video of me putting that on? I looked Donald, Col Donald Trump coloured. I was bloody orange. Because it oxidised as well. It went on too deep and then oxidised. But I can usually get one that is within a shade of my skin tone. So I can, I can bronze round my neck and everywhere so that it looks okay. I hate the fact that so many of my friends cannot enjoy the foundations that I enjoy because it doesn't have their colour. There's a shot um, Spooky Lips and Fat Hips put up, which again, you know that one... <sighs> It genuinely ups. I genuinely get upset that companies think in 2018 that this is acceptable. This is not acceptable. Why do we need so many shades of beige and so few for women of colour and men of colour? Why? I, I don't understand the rationale behind it. Beauty Blender tried to dig the way out of a hole by saying, uh, the image on Trend Moods post has a wacky filter and doesn't give a true representation of our shade range. To which Trend Moods replied, hey loves, this image was taken from your promo video. What, not sure what filter you guys used. But we didn't alter this image at all. That was obviously the one that looked orange. But I only see with one eye. But the second row up from the bottom and the five shades on the right hand side of the bottom row I don't really see much difference. I see difference in undertones, but I don't see difference in depth of shade. It's not acceptable. When you see NYX collaborating with a woman of colour to ensure that their foundation is inclusive. And then Beauty Blender I 
that's worse than tart. So guess what, Beauty Blender? Along with Huda and Tart and Cat Von Disease, you're on my shit list. Till you sort that heinous foundation range out so that it's inclusive. I won't buy any of your stuff. I won't use any of your stuff. I won't promote any of your stuff. You could send me enough free beauty blenders for me to send out to every single one of my followers in every single shade. Actually, I'd send it out to you, but I wouldn't say I'd done it. I wouldn't tell people that they'd done that. No. Just... No. Moving on. Urban Decay. Um, again, they're bringing out smaller palettes. I love that they're doing this. Um, this is their Aphrodisiac palette. Um, I like the look of those colours, I've got to be honest. That's, that's the kind of... That's, that's coming soon, but I would pick that up if that was a sensible price. Um, because again, it's, it's ideal for travelling with... Um, Jouer, we know they're bringing out a concealer. Are you paying attention, Beauty Blender? Hmm? Look at their shade range for their concealers. Are you noticing there's an equal balance of beige and colourful? Uh, this is Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealers with Hyaluronic Acid um, Reserve a Troll to achieve creaseless soft matte finish while correcting and smoothing skin imperfections in 25 shades coming soon and you've got one row of fair, one row of light, one row of medium, one row of deep and one row of... well it's not really deep dark but it's, it's, it's deeper um, so that's fair. We get one row for every, for five different skin types. Fair, light, medium, medium tan, dark. That's the way you do it. Oh, I sound like Punch and Judy now. That's the way to do it. Um, Cover FX are coming out with a Power Play concealer. Um, high performance crease proof full coverage in 30 shades, 30 bucks each. Boom. Colour True Comfortable All Day Wear conceals and instantly brightens under eye circles, redness and discoloration. Weightless, crease proof, buildable high coverage, pollution defence. That's interesting. Um, available end of July on their website and then August for Sephora and Ulta Beauty if you have access to either of those two stores. Um, they've got three different undertones. P, which is pink for peachy rosy skin tones or cool undertone. G for golden, which is yellow olive skin tones, so warm. And then N for neutral, an equal mix of pink and golden. And I'm kind of neutral, veering towards cool, if you were wondering. Um, and they've also brought out a white one as well. So it's good to see that we're getting more white concealers, because that does at least, you know, if, if you do need a super light one, if you are super pale like my mate Erin, or... Um, oh, God. Hello, brain. I know her by her nickname, but it's rude, so I can't really say it on screen. Um, a couple of my mates are super, super pale. 
so they tend to mix white concealers in with their with the lightest concealer of a range and it means that they can then use it for brightening as well so that's awesome uh, apparently the applicator is a ball shape rather than a doe foot to help apply the product on spotted areas okay and finally um, Suva Beauty next week are coming out with the Block Party Palette. 30 US dollars. Quite like the look of that actually. Love the look of that deep teal on the top row. Ooh! In fact, that quad, that teal, the apricot, the Caribbean blue, and that yellow. Mmm. I might have to use that for colour inspiration for an eyeshadow look. Let me know if you want to see me use that. I'll crop it and put it here. Let me know if you want me to use those four colours from colours that I've got. I think I've got a teal that colour. Um, if not, I'll buy an individual one. So let me know if you want me to try and use that quad um, to create an eye look. Right, that's it. We're done for another episode. Congratulations, we made it all the way through. Um, I am now going to go and get myself a very large glass of water because your girl's thirsty. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, it'd be great if you'd hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe. Once you subscribe, hit that bell. And then when the option comes up, make sure you choose all notifications, not just random. Right, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.